Silent Pictures is from the Bay Area. Um, we've been around since about 2010. Uh, we put out our first album in 2013, our first full length. Um, and then we just released a new second album uh, at the end of 2016 called Let It Begin. Uh, really happy. We, we just recorded with uh, that album with some great producers. Uh, Dave Schiffman, who just won a Grammy uh, for Adele's record, a uh, good friend of ours. Um, Joe Foster, who uh, co-founded with Alan McGee Creation Records. He did the first Jesus and Mary Chain single. Uh, we also work with John Fryer, who did all the Cocteau Twins, first Depeche Mode record. Uh, he did our first record as well. Ricky Mimey from the Brian Jonestown Massacre and I mixed a couple tracks. And we had it all mastered with uh, Howie Weinberg, who did my best, most favorite Cure record, which is Disintegration. So uh, Let It Begin is really an amazing journey. And we're super happy to have uh, got to work with so many great people. My absolute favorite boss pedal, and I, I made the mistake as a teenager of buying it and then losing it somehow, is uh, the green tremolo pan, the PN2. I love this pedal. I remember getting it because it was something that you know My Bloody Valentine, Kevin Shields used on a lot of their early recordings, uh, as well as uh, Ride. And these were all bands that you know back in the early 90s, late 80s, I would go and see. Just an amazing stereo tremolo pedal. I also use uh, the Boss Super Overdrive, the SD1. Uh, you know, a lot of people like those kind of custom whatever, you know, everyone has a different looking overdrive pedal. It's like, it's kind of like a tattoo, but to me, the, that's the standard. Um, and if I combine that with a couple of my other distortion boxes, uh, I just get wicked tone and I'm happy with that box, you know? And you know what? I can always find it in case it breaks. We also used, uh, Roland for uh, recording for amps. We use the JC line quite a bit as a, as a secondary amp with maybe a box and a JC120 or a twin and a JC120. And we use Roland keyboards. We're, we're currently uh, touring with the, the uh, Juno DI model. And what I love about that is that basically every vintage classic sound or just standard instrument is there. So instead of having to bring three keyboards, we can get it all done with just one. And when you're on the road, it one keyboard is better. It's less to move. Got to use a lot of great gear, like your guys' stuff. So, you know, Roland, definitely guys, if you're not checking it out, you really you're missing out on something.